Good day, folks. So here's the deal. If you basically live anywhere that's basically partially civilized on this earth, uh, you're going to be surrounded by ambient noise, RF, magnetic fields, you name it, any kind of um, magnetic fields, really. And that's a form of AC, basically. So all you have to do is build a simple voltage multiplier circuit here. And what I did, thinking, knowing it's RF, I use very... Um, uh, light duty parts as you see I, it's hard to zoom in here with the camera but the diodes are radio diodes and uh, not necessarily what you'd use for switching because um, I'm not using this usually people use the voltage multiplier for high voltage part gaps and Jacobs ladders and that sort of thing but I want to just use the concept to amplify that half a volt or so that's in the ambient so what I have here is I have two ham radio antennas coming in my uh, 50 ohm coax one. This is for my HF band. And down here is my 2 meter band here. So I have two antennas on the roof here. Nothing special. Um, and I have got, I built this voltage multiplier circuit here. Uh, many stages. And what happens is once I connect the, um, the two antennas here, it forms a big loop basically. And as we see here with, with the voltage multiplier on the DC side, I'm getting, it flickers with the noise in the background, but around 30 volts or so on the DC side. So there's not a lot of current in this, I understand. Um, but what this is good for is I charge batteries with this because it can charge the capacitors and then you can dump the capacitors with the various methods, the MOSFETs, the transistors, the uh, neon dumps, and uh, batteries like this here or that here. Um, you use any switching you want to use for uh, your um, cap dump. But I'm just showing you that you could actually use the ambient. You don't need to create your back EMF if you don't want to do that. You don't have to generate it from the mains. You can just stick up an antenna in the ground, a good ground. Make sure that the two, the two grounds are looped because they, they have to, two, two antenna grounds have to be. And um, there is your voltage multiplier.